Okay, for the next stage, we're going to make some modifications to our Game Engine project, first of all. What we're going to do is right-click on Game Engine, and... Sorry, right click on Game Engine. Then what we're going to do is add a reference. This time we're going to add a reference to the drawing system that's built into Microsoft.NET Framework. So we're going to go to .NET, and this will take a little while to load up. And for some reason, it isn't always in alphabetical order either. But the one that we're looking for is System.Drawing. OK, so once we've got that, we're going to hit OK. And make sure that then gets added to our system. Uh, it's just here, Drawing. Now use it within our usings at the top to make it, um, life easier for ourselves. What we're going to work on first of all is the camera. So what we're going to add is a using system.drawing. This contains things like the point variable, um, a bitmap, which obviously we're going to need because we're going to be drawing to graphics quite a lot, and will allow us to create our class of camera. Now the first thing we're going to do is make this a public class. The camera needs to be visible within the form itself. And we're going to need a few different bits and pieces uh, of variables to actually run our camera. So I'm going to start with the variables themselves. Um, the first variable is going to be the offset in the world. Okay, So this is where the camera is currently drawing, the current located. Um, we're going to need a bitmap which actually forms the camera screen. So we'll put that in. And we also want to know where on our form we're actually going to draw this camera. So uh, for that, we're going to use another item within uh, System.Drawing, a rectangle. And I'm going to call that Draw Location, if I can know how to spell. Now, we're going to draw a whole series of Z levels on our camera. Um, and so it, say we've got like objects at Z level 1, Z level 2, Z level 3, there's sort of different distances and heights. And we draw in Z level order. So we draw all the items on Z level 1 first of all, then all the items Z level 2 are drawn on top, and so on. So what we actually need to know as well is we need to know the start of the Z draw level that we're going to draw, and the end. Otherwise we won't know how many draw. This might mean that you can have items which are actually higher up than the camera can see that are hidden from view, if you like, until you actually need them. We need to know what type of camera it's going to be. Um, so again, we're going to set up something. This one's the camera type that we've uh, we put together in the last video, um, the enumerated type. We also want to know whether to draw the background or not. A lot of times we actually want to draw things with your camera that don't include the background that you're drawing on top. So how do we set up this camera? Well, just like um, we did with the uh, um, structures, we're going to set um, the camera up with a what's called initializer. Uh, draw location, camera type, camera star. Notice the capitalization I'm using again, so that there's a difference between the capital letter CS for camera star, a lower case. camera style there. So, uh, if we don't actually tell the computer um, where we're actually going to start the offset, as in where the location, we'll start at 000. zero, zero. Uh, the camera screen uh, needs to obviously be a new map, and we're going to set it at whatever size uh, the resolution has been set to. So this is the camera resolution our um, view. It might be 320 by 240, 640 by 480, who knows. Uh, draw location will just set to the draw location that's put through. And as a start point, I'm actually going to set the start and end Z draw just to 0 and 20. So anything with a minus for Z won't draw. Anything with 21 and above won't draw either. Let's set the camera style up as well. And I'm going to set show background to equal true as a, as a basic start point. Now, we might want to have more details, such as the um, actual res the offset. So um, I'm going to create a new one. You can see I've just copied and pasted. Um, and what we're going to do is just now set the offset. Um, I think, really, all the rest of it is basically the same. Um, now this is one of the other things that we can do um, inside uh, a program um, is we can overload the function. So the the 
ability to create a camera, you actually get a choice of different creations, if you like. It's known as overloading a function. Um, there are other things we might want our function, our camera to be able to do. So I'm going to create two more public functions which everyone can access. Um, first of all, I might want to have to move my camera in the scene and I might want to move it to a set location. So what I can do, I can actually um, create a, um, a piece of code, a, a function, which is a method because it returns no value, that will move the camera to whichever section that we set, so offset equals new position. So instantly that camera will move to the new position when I call that piece of code. Sometimes I might want to scroll the camera by so many uh, pixels. So what I'm going to do is add another uh, piece of code, uh, 0.3D. I'll call this one new offset. So notice I create my curly brackets one after the other instantly and then put enter to, um, to set the location. Now, what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to use this shortcut plus equals, which means add to the current offset whatever's in the new offset X. Again, copy and paste to do the Y and Z to make life a lot quicker. Um, so now I can move my camera either to a set location using that, or I can actually scroll my camera around the screen, uh, which makes life a lot easier. Finally, what I, the other one I'm going to do, I'm going to allow the change of resolution. Um, And the reason for this is you can use this basically to zoom in out on how it will look on your uh, uh, on your screen. New bitmap, and we're going to choose it to the new resolution dot width resolution dot height. The lower these numbers, the more like the more it will look like you're zooming in. The um, higher the numbers, the more like you're zooming out. Okay, but the bigger the numbers, the bigger the resolution of the camera screen the slower your game will be because the more work the software actually has to do. So that is actually our camera object, uh, as simple and straightforward as that. So we've got a series of variables there um, which we can use to set up the camera. Uh, we can initialize the camera in two different ways and we can move the camera around either to a fixed position before we switch it back on or scroll it around and if we need to we can change the resolution i.e. zoom in and zoom out. And that, once saved, Build Gaming is actually your camera created.